The National Center for Child Health and Development is based in Tokyo and is the only national medical center in Japan for neonates, children, adolescents, as well as mothers and fetuses. We offer the highest quality medical care supported by novel and original research. Our mission is to create and refine new medical treatments in order to help improve the health of future generations. In the Division of Endocrinology and Metabolism, we cover almost the entire field of pediatric endocrinology and diabetes. These include patients with rare disorders which are difficult to diagnose and treat. We treat more than 100 patients with type 1 diabetes. They are treated with sensor augmented pump treatment or intensifying insulin injection depending on their choice. We also treat large number of patients with growth disorders with growth hormones, disorders of pubertal maturation such as precocious puberty and hypogonadism. Our hospital is also the core center for disorders for sex development. Because we have the highest number of pediatric endocrine patients in Japan, we have been enrolled in not only clinical studies, but also many international clinical trials. We have already contributed to approve many growth hormone indications and introduced updated treatment for shoulder stature, premature puberty, hypogonadism, diabetes, hypoglycemia, and OI. We see many hyperinsulinemic hypoglycemia patients. We do genetic testing and imaging study using FDOPA PET CT in addition to clinical evaluation. 20 patients were diagnosed with congenital hyperinsulinism. We performed genetic tests and particular gene mutation were found in 13 patients. We provide an interdisciplinary team approach in diagnosis and treatment. We work together with pediatric urologists, geneticists, neonatologists, as well as nurse specialists, dietitians, and pharmacists. All these specialists work together to make sure our medical services are the best. あの、糖尿病患後認定看護師という At the center of this team are patients and their families. We provide them the best possible information on diagnosis, possible treatment, and prognosis. When we found Emma's diabetes, we were not in this hospital, but um, we decided to move here because they have a grab pump, especially for the children's diabetes. It's nice to be here because the doctors can tell you more about diabetes and you get used to it. They like tell me when I was high, you don't eat that much stuff, and when you're low, you have to eat some stuff. This is a big hospital, but we feel like a family. We can say anything about when we have got a problem, so it's a very nice atmosphere for patients, especially parents. We also support patient groups by sharing information about new treatment options and promoting medical and mental care. Our treatment is based on comprehensive diagnosis, made using not only clinical and biochemical findings, but also molecular analysis. We aim to clarify the molecular basis of endocrine disorders by analyzing with patients with rare endocrine disorders. We have many technologies, including next generation sequencing, LHCGH, and pile sequencing. So today, we have collected more than 8,000 patient samples by analyzing these samples, we can clarify the molecular basis of endocrine disorder. Our hospital also includes a pediatric cancer center. About 50 to 60% of childhood cancer survivors have late endocrine disorders. When you manage children with brain tumors, it is necessary to have a strong endocrine team. The endocrine profile of all our patients is carefully assessed by our endocrine team throughout treatment and if abnormalities occur, they provide optimal endocrine care. We share strong interest in long-term endocrine status in childhood cancer survivors, and active collaborative researches are ongoing. 
As a teaching hospital, we focus on the pediatric endocrinology specialist development. Since being here, we get a lot of opportunities to learn pediatric endocrinology as well as to join meetings. Our hospital has an ongoing cohort study of healthy children. As part of this, I compiled data to determine the relationship between urinary iodine concentration and thyroid function. It was a very interesting work and precious experience. We provide learning opportunities for international fellows, and we have had fellows from Indonesia, Thailand, Myanmar. We also go overseas to give lectures in these countries. Our major task is to provide the best available treatment to patients with endocrine disorders and to improve their quality of life by introducing new technologies, new drugs, and regeneration medicine. We hope we can also cure currently incurable diseases, providing them with the hope that the best is yet to come.